Aloha, Ohana. My name is Chris and that's right. I called you family because we're all family here. In Hawaii, there are so many cool things to do and I want to know what sounds fun to you. So let's play Would You Rather. Two options are gonna come up on the screen. If you would rather do what's on this side, hula this way. And if you would rather do what's on this side of the screen, hula this way. Okay, here we go. Would you rather go scuba diving or whale watching? Both of those are great. And did you know that the whales in Hawaii swim all the way here from Alaska? That's a long way to swim. Okay, time for the next one. Would you rather drink coffee or coconut water? Good choice. And here's a fun fact for you. Hawaii is the only US state that grows coffee. Okay, how about one more? Would you rather play the pahu drum or the ukulele? You'll hear both of those at a luau, but the pahu drum is the most important instrument in the hula dance. And get this, it's covered with shark skin. But speaking of the hula, get on your feet and dance with us. Go ahead and take your seat, Ohana. Let me tell you, luau's are only the beginning of all the fun we're going to have today. Family challenge. Yes, who? All right, you ready, Grandpa? You go first. Okay. Um. Does your person have a beard? Nope. Oh, that means I gotta turn down Mr. Al. He reminds me of my neighbor across the street. He's been in the hospital and he's sick and I've been praying that he'd feel better. You remember Mr. Al, don't you? Yeah, I think so. So is your person a girl? Why, yes, my person is a girl. Is your person a girl? Nope. Is your person wearing something on their head? You must be thinking about Miss Lily. She reminds me of a lady I see at the library all the time. I've invited her to come to church, and I'm praying that one day she will come. Oh, that's nice. So, is your person wearing something on their head, Grandpa? No. 
My person's not wearing a hat or anything else on their head. Okay, your turn, Grandpa. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, does your person have a bald head, a white mustache, and go by the name of Joe? Hey, I don't think you can ask three questions at once. Well, but am I right? Yes, how did you know that? <laughs> Just a good guess, I guess. Whenever I play Guess Who, I try to think of people I know who look like the people in the game. Like my Aunt Sarah, who has bright red hair, or my fifth grade teacher, Mr. Woodson. And there's that one guy with the mustache who looks like my neighbor. Think about all the people in your life. Are any of them perfect? No, and none of us are either. That's why we need the people in our lives, especially our family to be praying for us each day. There's one family in particular in the Bible who learned how important it is to pray for each other. Their names were Isaac and Rebecca. After they got married, they realized that Rebecca wasn't able to have kids. So Isaac prayed and asked God to help her become pregnant. And God did. God gave them twin boys, Jacob. That's me. And Esau. That's me. But as you can see, these twins didn't look anything alike. Esau was a pretty hairy dude who liked to be outside and hunt. And Jacob, well, he wasn't so hairy and he liked to stay inside and cook. Esau was the older brother, which meant he had something called a birthright. That meant that Esau would get to be in charge of all the family's money, land, animals, and other belongings after their father died. But one day, Esau came in from hunting, and after spending the day outside, he was starving. That smells so good. Can I, can I please have a bowl? Mm, I'll give you some of my stew, if you give me your birthright. Okay, okay, I'm starving. Okay. Hmm. That was like giving up a million dollars for a little bowl of soup. I guess Esau was banking on the fact that he would still get his father's blessing, which is another special thing that the oldest son gets. But Jacob tricked him out of that too. And their mom even helped him. Psst, Jacob, your dad is old and he is going to die soon. He's about to give your brother Esau his blessing, but I want you to have it. Since your brother is out hunting, wear his clothes and here, Put on these furry animal skins. Put them on your arms. And look, your dad can't see, so he'll think that you're Esau, and then he'll give you the blessing. And sure enough, that's what happened. Isaac gave his younger son, Jacob, the blessing. When Esau came back and found out what happened, he was furious. He even wanted to kill his brother. So, their mom sent Jacob to live with their uncle far away. <sighs> Many years after the boys had gotten married and had kids of their own, God told Jacob to go back to where his family lived. But he was scared that Esau would still be mad at him, so he prayed. God of my father Abraham, God of my father Isaac, Lord, you are the one who said to me, go back to your country and your relatives. Then I will give you success. You have been very kind and faithful to me, but I'm not worthy of any of this. Please save me from the hand of my brother Esau. I'm afraid he'll come and attack me and my family. Jacob sent gifts ahead of his family to Esau, hoping they would help him not be mad anymore. But here's what happened when they finally met again. Brother, oh. oh, it's so good to see you. But what are all these things that you've sent me? Oh, uh, um, they, they were gifts, they were gifts. So, so you'd be kind to me and wouldn't hurt me. <laughs> you didn't see me any gifts. I have so many things. Come on, let's go home. Okay, wow. Isn't it cool how God answered Jacob's prayers? It makes me wonder what would have happened if Jacob, Esau, and their mom would have prayed for each other instead of being selfish with their things, tricking each other and getting angry. Maybe Esau could have prayed for his brother to share his stew instead of giving up his birthright to get some. 
and Jacob could have prayed for God to bless him instead of stealing his brother's blessing from their dad. You know, talking to God about the people in your family can help you think about what you're feeling before you act on it and do something you regret. And listening to what God has to say when you pray is key because he can help you make the best choice and do the right thing. You can never go wrong praying for your family. I can pray for my family. We can talk to God about anything, anytime, anywhere. He is always with us and he's always listening. You could be in the middle of class, afraid that you're going to bomb your math test, or you could be in your room all by yourself playing worship music as loud as you can stand it. The time, the place, and the subject doesn't really matter. What matters is opening your heart to God and telling Him everything. Because we can literally talk to God anywhere, let's practice talking to Him right now. Go ahead, get still and quiet wherever you are and get your heart ready because we are going to pray. If it helps you, you can even close your eyes. First, we are going to praise. Take a minute and tell God something that you're thankful for. You can say it out loud or quietly in your heart, but go ahead, I'll wait. Next, we are going to repent and tell God that we're sorry. Is there something you've done that you know wasn't right or isn't what God would want you to do? God already knows every bad thing you've done and that you could ever do and He loves you no matter what. So go ahead and tell God about it. Next, let's ask God a question. Sometimes we don't have the things that we really want because we haven't asked God for them. Now, God's not a magic fairy just dropping things from the sky, but you can go to God with confidence, knowing that He is going to take care of you. You can know if He doesn't give you what you've asked for, it's because He has something even greater in store. You can ask God for anything you want or need. Is there something you want Him to do? Anything you want to ask, He can handle it. Okay, go ahead, take a second to ask God for something. Now, let's get really quiet. Listen for God's voice to say something to your heart. If you heard God's voice, or even if you didn't, it's okay. Just like you can talk to God anytime and anywhere, He can talk to you anytime, anywhere too. So keep listening for Him each day. Finally, we are going to say yes to God. Let's tell God that whatever He wants us to do, we're all about it. Say this after me out loud or in your heart. God, whatever you want me to do, the answer is yes. I trust you and I love you, amen. You did it, you just talked to God. I hope you've learned that God loves you. He is always with you. And if you're talking, He is listening. Surf's up. Everybody get on your feet and let's ride some waves. Watch out because there are some crazy things coming our way. We'll need to jump or duck as we ride to make it safely to shore. We got it, we got it, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I said, I can't believe we finally got to go deep sea fishing. Ah, it was so fun. <laughs> yeah, we've been praying for this trip to happen for years. And it wasn't cold or rainy either. Yeah, we prayed for good weather too. Uh, you know what else I've been praying for? 
What's that? I've been praying for you. You've been praying for me? Well, yeah, that's what families do. You can pray for me, and I can pray for you. Everybody, say this after me. I can. I can. Pray. Pray. For my family. For my family. Well, thanks, Ike. But you know what would have made this fishing trip even better? Hmm, I don't know. What? If we would have listened to some music while we were out fishing. Oh, yeah. What kind of music? I don't know. Something catchy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to know that someone in your family is praying for you. But your brothers and sisters all over the world need your prayers too. That's why God tells us in Romans chapter 12, verse 10, to love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. Let's put some motions with that Bible verse to help us remember it. Say it with me. Love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. Romans 12, 10. Now, here's a song that will help you remember it. Get on your feet and sing along. God's our Father, good, good Father, and we're all His sons and daughters. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We can always stick together, though we're different from each other. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. God loves me and God loves you In His family there is room For our brothers, for our sisters We are family Let's forgive and get along Cause together we are strong We are brothers, we are sisters We are family We're God's family Loving and honoring We're not perfect but you'll see That we are family we're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. Let me tell you about when I started following Jesus and became part of God's family. When I was in third grade, I went to a funeral for my great grandpa. I like to call him Gramps. Afterward, I asked my mom where Gramps is now. She said he was in heaven. So I asked, can anyone go to heaven? And she said that everyone who believes in Jesus gets to go to heaven. I wanted to see my Gramps again, and heaven sounded like a really cool place. So I said, well, I want to go to heaven one day. My mom hugged me and asked, Avery, do you believe that Jesus really is God's son who died on the cross to take punishment for the wrong things you do? I thought about it for a minute and said, yes, I do believe that Jesus did that for me. Then my mom asked me if I really believed that God brought Jesus back to life after he died. And I said, yes, that's what makes him so cool. Then she asked me one more question. She said, Avery, do you want Jesus to be the leader of your life forever? That's when I said, yes, if Jesus did those things for me, why wouldn't I want him to be the leader of my life? Then we prayed together. I told Jesus that I was sorry for the wrong things I had done, and I thanked him for dying on the cross for all those things. Then I thanked God for bringing Jesus back to life, and I told Jesus 
that I want him to be the leader of my life forever. From then on, I knew that Jesus had saved me and made me part of God's family forever. No matter what my family is like, God is my Father. He is always with me. He will always love me. I can be a part of His family forever. Aloha again to all my Ohana. I've had so much fun hanging out with you and learning how to pray for our families. Let's see if you can remember a few other things you've heard today by playing Let's Limbo. Every time you get a question right, I'll lower the limbo bar. And after three questions, we'll see how low I can go. All right, true or false, the Pahu drum is covered in turtle shells. That's false, Ohana. The Pahu drum is actually covered in shark skin. Okay. Okay, next question. True or false, when Jacob prayed for his brother Esau, God answered his prayer. That is absolutely true. And God will answer our prayers too for our family. Okay, here we go. Oh man, this limbo bar is getting low already. All right, here's the last one. True or false, God can help you and your family members do the right thing when you talk to him and listen to what he says. You've got it. God is always ready to help your family, so you should talk to him every day. Oh, oh man, I don't know if I can limbo this low, but here I go. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Whoa, that was awesome. Oh, well, the sun is setting on our day here in Hawaii together, but before you go, let's all bow our heads, close our eyes and pray. Hey God, I'm so glad that we can talk to you. Whenever we pray for our families, please show us how you are answering our prayers. We love you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, Ohana, pray for each other this week and I'll see you next time.